as we welcome everybody back to Extreme Rules 2020. We finally reached the peak end of Extreme Rules 2020. What a night it's been a wild, wild night, especially for the kickoff. If you have missed the kickoff, I can tell you this much. It should have been a part of the show. We should have had one big wild. May I quote? May I quote extreme night, but we have finally moved on to that match. Many of you have all been waiting for the five-man world heavyweight. Yes, I mean world heavyweight championship match. And it's elimination with Brock Lesnar, Drew McIntyre, Ethan Miller, Seth Rollins, and Ricochet. This match was originally supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, but, well, Seth wanted to prove he can beat Ethan Miller, but instead of it being another mono a mono one-on-one -on -one match, he said, screw it. If I'm going to beat him, I'm going to make a statement and prove I am truly a world heavyweight champion. And as the Raw GM, anonymous GM, I should say, was impressed with Ricochet when he fought off against Drew McIntyre, he was also given a title shot. And those of you who did, who did, did, those of you will know who have not shown up and bought tickets. We had some technical difficulties with the tag team match, with the Fury Fighters facing off against the Undisputed Era, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. So, as a result, JoJo had to give you the news that Ethan Miller and Zack Saban have claimed the Raw World. Tag Team Championship. So now we see Ethan Miller walking around with the Hardcore Championship recently claimed and the World Tag Team Championship, but he seems to forget, hey, you've got two championships, buddy. You bring them both out and you show them off like a man. <clears throat> but also keep in mind, my name is Ted Stryker and I am the voice of wrestling. And well, I'm only here for one night, so enjoy it while you can.
And here comes the man who holds the belt around his waist, Seth Rollins. I gotta tell you, I'm taking this whole atmosphere in while I can, because soon to be, I'll be going back to the UFC, where I'm appreciated. But if I had to choose one of these five or walking away with the World Heavyweight Champion, Miller's looking pretty strong. So is Brock Lesnar. I don't know. I don't think I can choose. So you know what? I'm going to go home team. Rollins is winning the match. What a close on my Drew McIntyre. Ricochet and Ethan Miller back and forth with the chops. Oh, what a kick! The ref got in the way, the ref is down!
as I sit in my chair at the commentary table and I watch on. I don't know who is walking away with the championship. It's anyone's ball game now. Oh, what a drop kick! Says Rollins a little bit quicker to move out of the way. Looks like we're going outside of the apron. Oh, knockout! Counter by the Miller. Springboard. Oh, Senton. Ricochet going full force with a sledgehammer into a schoolboy into Curry. Ricochet, he's doing something crazy, the slingshot, DDT under the apron. That may have broken Ethan Miller's skull, wide open. Of the Kings landing Seth Rollins. Gonna do a bit more. Oh, in Zaguri! Countered into a super kick. Reversed. And my god! Oh, what a drop kick! What a sequence from Ricochet, Seth Rollins, and Ethan Miller. Oh, here we go. Setting up Northern Lights into a final cut, but countered by Seth Rollins. And do a drop kick as he takes control, stopping the arm of Ricochet. And here we go, 450 from Ethan Miller. Here we go, here we go, super kick, super kick, goes to the end of Rollins. Corner super kick, which is elimination. One, two. And Rollins kicks out. Doesn't want to give up just yet. Now targeting the arm again of Ricochet. I don't know what the strategy is for targeting the arm of Ricochet. But, well, I guess we don't know everything. But we do know some things. And that is... This match still rolls on. Oh, knee to the gut. I felt that one. I've been in the ring myself. And I can tell you this much, I've inflicted and felt a lot of pain. And that one, never had it done to me, but I felt it. Oh, here we go, Ricochet with the backside driver. Setting him up! Setting him up! Oh! Kick to the gut and then to the head with a super kick! What a combo from Ricochet! going on here ricochet go for a roundhouse kick and i don't know what he was who was aiming for but oh here we go drew mcintyre and ethan miller settling an unsettled score and here we go unloading drew mcintyre into a schoolboy ends up curry taking out drew mcintyre super kick taking out ricochet going right for the pin one, two, not even a two, Ricochet. The resilient one. The one and only. Rather. Oh! Went for a rolling elbow with all the momentum coming towards him, but Drew McIntyre knew exactly what's coming as Ricochet may be eliminated with a dragon sleeper. Only getting a two count. Nobody eliminated just yet. The match still rolls on from behind, going right for the ripcord knee. But something in this match had canceled that.
And there it goes through. Oh, knocking out Brock Lesnar. With the steel chairs, Ricochet wants some more of Ethan Miller. Here we go. Got much. Wait a minute. Maybe under the steel chair. And my God, almost. The foot of Brock Lesnar gets in the way and goes right for the pin, but only gets a two count. Trying to submit Drew McIntyre. Keep wanting to call him Drew Gulak. I don't know why, but I do. And here we go. We're right for the pin to Brock Lesnar. One. Two, oh, kicked out. Now it's fired up, it's fired up. Rollins with a sling blade. He's going right for the frog press, but Ethan Miller rolls out of the way, maybe going outside. Is he gonna go outside? No, decides not to. I think stupid as Drew McIntyre goes right for the pin to eliminate Brock Lesnar and Brock Lesnar the first man to be eliminated and boy I can tell you this much Brock Lesnar is the least the last person I thought would be out of this match but being the first one sure makes Drew McIntyre look really strong and worthy of a title shot but Brock Lesnar not so much we're down to the final four we see Ricochet Drew McIntyre Ethan Miller to gain the World Heavyweight Championship. We go back and forth. My God, wait a minute. Setting up something. Oh, Cobra out of nowhere from Ricochet. Almost and only a two count as Miller kicks out. Now we're not. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here, oh! Went for an air raid siren, but Rollins said no way, not this time. I am making myself a worthy world heavyweight champion. And here we go, ripcord knee. Maybe the end of Ricochet as we see here. One, two, three, and we're down to three people. Drew McIntyre, Ethan Miller, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're going outside. We're going outside. We're going, wait a minute. My God, Ethan Miller just caught Seth Rollins with a super kick in midair to the outside. Which is who's getting up? Will it be Rollins? Rollins somehow finds a way to get right up. And McIntyre having issues out going and unloading with a chair. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! Maybe we're gonna get a Tiger Suplex! One and not even a one count! Here we go, super kick, but his version! And Drew McIntyre wants Seth Rollins all to himself! The Scottish Psycho. Go back and forth on the outside. We're down to Drew McIntyre, Ethan Miller, and Seth Rollins. Rollins shows a chance to retain the World Heavyweight Championship, but I can tell you if it's if it's these two in a match, although 
Miller may not be that fresh in the matchup because he just came from a world tag team match. And wait a minute, wait a minute, this is extreme. Here we go. Big boat to the side of the turnbuckle post. Now setting up Drew McIntyre for the rolling cutter. And McIntyre eliminated as we see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. God's last gift. Back in and not letting loose. Let. Not letting loose. Oh, what a heel kick. Into the corner again. We're down again. Ethan Miller and Seth Rollins. <laughs> this may not be the best last superstar for Rollins to deal with, but it may be the way he wanted it, and now he's got it. And here we go. Set him up. Set him up for the cutter. Two. Three and almost. Cheeky victory, cheeky victory, here we go. Rolling him up, one, two, and almost. Another God's last gift. Here we go, sneaky pin, sneaky pin. Gonna be it, one, two, three, and almost. Again, Rollins refusing to give up. He's going up. Maybe looking for that frog splash. Maybe looking for it. And oh, what a drop kick to the back. Oh, here we go. A super kick of his own. Super kick of his own. Oh, into a spinning back fist. Here we go again, looking for that super kick and almost hitting it. And countered into his own super kick into the corner. Miller. Down he goes. Rollins. Good to kick out. Two. Three. Rollins refusing to give up. Oh, here we go. It's set up for Miller. Just for him. Wait a minute. Getting on it. Almost. Oh, kick to the ankles. And into the long blower.
and a super kick could end it all. And Rollins kicked out. I don't believe my eyes. Rollins at this point is fighting not only for the retaining the championship but for his life within the knee. Oh well, they're all they may be setting something up. Back in the ring we go. Rollins. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Miller didn't expect it. Curb stop. One. Two. Three. Rollins. Has proven. He is a worthy. World. Heavyweight. Champion. I told you there's going to be somebody that's going to put away and you slow down and prove they are better than the Fury Fighters. And damn it, it was Seth Rollins. Here is your winner and still World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. As we bring you the main event of Extreme Rules 2020, we have women's triple threat action for the Raw Women's Championship as Tony Storm defeated the Raw Women's ta ch whoa, Championship in a non-title match. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm. Which automatically qualifies you to face the champion and not only that but well I get I guess the manager wanted to spice things up and add a well I don't want to say new but I guess more controversial women's superstar to the match who recently had a situation with Chris Owens and that being Kelly Rose don't ask me why but I'm so glad that Miller did not defeat Seth Rollins. That sure made my day, I can tell you that much. And introducing <coughs> the challenger from Palm Beach, Florida, the Queen, Kelly Rose. <clears throat> and introducing the champion from Long Island, New York, the Raw Women's Champion, Ashley Hayes. What a fighter Ashley Hayes has been. 
let alone the hell she went through just to just to win a match. And now looking at like almost a year later, Ashley Hayes claims the Raw Women's Champion, but can she defend it once again? <clears throat> oh, a Twitter song going right for Ashley Hayes, and here we go. What is going on here? Oh, into the forearm. Right for a drop kick. Tony Storm, what is going on in this match? Kelly Rose and Tony Storm back and forth. I can tell you this much. Kelly Rose not too deserving of a title shot, but hey, why not? Here we go, going top rope, Kelly Rose. She may be looking to improve her ring work. Game into a diving her Karana to Ashley Hayes. Rolling up, Kelly Rose, but it's just one fall. One. Almost. Well, I guess I can't say almost, but, you know, it was wishing, I guess. Tony Storm tracked for the corner by Kelly Rose. Actually, hey, just watching on, seeing what she's going to, excuse me, do next. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. From the top, Kelly Rose! She is just on fire tonight! And I was just almost disappointed that she even earned a spot just proving herself. Now I see why the anonymous Raw GM gave me the title set, and here we go. Tequila Sunrise! Nope, never mind. It's an arm! It's an arm bar! It's an arm bar! Tony Storm gonna have to get in this match. To break it up, it saved the day as Tony Storm breaks up the submission into a single leg high knee. Oh, here we go, setting her up for the storm breaker. At two, it gets up just in time, but it didn't matter because Kelly Rose kicked out, and here we go, setting things up. Oh, arm drag. And it just goes close on Tony Storm looking very impressive, but I can tell you this much if anybody is standing out tonight, it is Kelly Rose. Tony Storm, t t hello, still trying to go for the victory there, but. Well, gave Kelly Rose too much time to recover as Ashley Hayes goes top rope, setting something up. And oh, we're diving her a Karana, throwing shape. One, two, oh, only a two count. Oh, here we go. Setting it up. Knee to the back. Drop kick. Oh, here's that corner forward arm from Ashley Hayes. Oh, 
Boom! Went right for the corner. Face wash, big boom! But Kelly Rose countered it into a form of a stutter. I think, it's, I think that was a whippersnapper. Big throwback to Mikey Whipwreck from the ECW days. And screw you, Vince, if you want to complain about me mentioning ECW or Mikey Whipwreck. I don't care. You called me up for the job. I'm doing it. And Kelly Rose going to have to get back in the match, breaking up the submission maneuver. Into a pop-up pile about one of nowhere. Something new. Two and not even a two count. Not even a two. What a main event. This is banned into a crossbody. All oh, kick to the side. And a reverse DDT, Kelly. Jesus. Kelly Rose, a more worthy opponent, it seems to me, than Tony Storm. We're going right for the pin with a little time, only getting a one count. Here we go, Whipper Snapper. Possibly new champion. Possibly new champion. Tony Storm going to have to kick out. And kicks out. Not yet to give up the title opportunity into the corner. Working to the elbow. And Kelly Rose is aggressive and intelligent as she's been. And this match may be our new Raw Women's Champion. Another whipper temper maybe. And another one. She hits it. And Ashley Hayes not giving her title up just yet. Kicking out at only two. And wait a minute. Kelly Rose. With a showstopper. There we go. Oh, break up the pin. What a kick to the back of the head. Everyone saw it coming. Tony Storm back in the match. Here we go. Setting her up. Lifting her up. Crashing down. One. Two. Three. Almost. Not going away for Kelly Rose. I don't know what her problem is with Kelly Rose, but there seems to be one. Into a super kick. Going top rope. Maybe looking for a frog splash or something. Into an elbow. Two. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think Hayes is quite done yet. Here it comes. Cut it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Agility and strength of Kelly Rhodes. And the corner to an elbow and an elbow to the back of the head. Another one. Oh, counting it. Into a clothesline, but Tony Storm ducked under. Almost had the victory. No, dr multiple drop kicks again from Tony Storm as Kelly Rose has to get back in this contest. 
Cause Tony Storm was looking for that Stormbreaker. Looking for the Stormbreaker. Counted it. Oh. And best and worst time is Tony Storm. Tony Storm looking to claim the Raw Women's Championship. Two, three, and Tony Storm. Tony Storm is your new Raw Women's Champion. As we thank you for coming for Extreme Rules 2020, although we weren't live because of, well, reasons. AKA Vince McMahon. Ha ha ha. Without further ado, wait a minute. My 